Much love to you wonderful deep divers. It is another beautiful day. I'm sending you tons of good ass energy today. Take that, take that, take that. Are you still holding on for dear life deep divers? To a lifestyle that's not serving you? To a job that's not serving you? To a relationship that's not serving you? to COVID-19 news that's not serving you. By the way, shout out to everyone who's standing up tall and proud saying, we ain't having it. Even the cat down the road's doing that right now. <laughs> I remember the day, Deep Divers. The exact time, the clothes I was wearing, <laughs> when I disconnected the plug from the socket that's right. No more TV. I was done with it. Because I'm like, whenever I'm watching TV, I'm just wasting a whole lot of time. Not only that, I'm not doing what I came here to do. So I had to have a divorce with a television which tells lies to your vision. And I had to let go of that. And it was hard. It was hard. Because... I used to love certain programs, but I realized that by me holding on, I couldn't advance. I couldn't move forward in my life. And right now, so many people are holding on to things which do not serve them. And they wonder why their life is not getting better. Oh, you got to let them go. Are you ready to stop holding on when you need to let go? Yes, yes, great. <laughs> Peace, infinite waters, diving deep once again. Beautiful deep divers, we are out here in nature, baby. It is a beautiful day. I want to thank you, universe. I want to thank everybody who's been on, <laughs> who's been on this journey with me who's also letting go right now, who sees things in a new way because they're letting go of the old every single day. Let's just, woo, breathing in that good ass prana, baby. The whole of my life is an exercise of letting go. A lot of people say, how come you've manifested all of this, Ralph? What's the secret? And I always tell them, it's because I've learned the art of how to let go and trust the universe. I know it's hard because a lot of us, we're stuck somewhere. Even though we don't like it, it's comfortable. Even though we don't want to be there, that's all we know. Well, that ends today. Someone asked me, Ralph, how can I just let go? How can I stop holding on when I need to let go? I'm living a toxic lifestyle. I have a toxic relationship and lockdown COVID-19 doesn't help either. <laughs> we got a whole lot to talk about deep divers and we ain't even had breakfast yet. Can I get a hello? Hello. <laughs> How to stop holding on when you need to let go. Let me share with you what's helped me along my journey, deep divers. First and foremost, I only do these videos in one take. And back in the day, when I would edit videos, I realized that I was stunting my growth. It wasn't natural. It wasn't authentic. I'm like, I want to... I want you to see me make mistakes and fumble words up. And guess what? Ever since I started to do that, I've been inspiring even more people. <laughs> I had to stop holding on and learn to let go. If we realize many times our ideas are not our own, Everything you've been told about COVID-19 is coming from a media source, not your own research. And it's the same thing when we talk of to stop holding on when you need to let go. 
realize that throughout our lives, throughout our lives, we accumulate other people's ideas, their ways of being, their opinions, their ways of doing things. And a lot of us, we lose ourselves in the crowd. And I always say the crowd is the matrix. Mm. What? Slow motion this side. Mm. You have to learn how to lose the crowd to find yourself. You have to learn how to lose the popular opinion to find the real truth. And that's the art of letting go. Let go of who you think you are to become who you really are. Because even a lot of our, a lot of our thoughts are coming from our conditioning, the way we were raised, our beliefs in what is right and wrong. This all shapes our thoughts. And many times when we think about who we are, it's not actually who we are. You are not your thoughts. <laughs> That's how to stop holding on when you need to let go. You are not your thoughts. I want to tell you this, deep divers. Before I started saying peace, I was working 12 hours a day. And I always remind myself, Ralph, if you had stayed there, you would not be where you are right now. If you had stayed in that job which was not serving you, just over broke, there would be no infinite waters. And it was hard for me to leave. It was hard for me to let go. Why? Because I was used to it. You see, the majority of people who are living lifestyles which are not serving them, they want to let go. But they have become so accustomed to doing what no longer serves them, they can't think of another way that can work, except this one which isn't working, which is the great <laughs> paradox, right? We have to remind ourselves, it can be scary to let go. It can be frightening to let go because there's no guarantee it's gonna work out. When I made a decision, when I made a decision, when I made a choice to say, actually, I'm just going to follow my heart because the cat down the road told me the universe reveals its secrets to those who dare to follow their hearts, right? So I said, hey, I'm going to do it. But there's no guarantee. I had, to, I had to start from the beginning. No foundation was erected. No house was built. Just a flat ground. Okay, what are we going to do here? I had to start getting creative. You see, a lot of people have created a routine which is not serving them. It's toxic, but they have become masters of their activities, their daily routines. And the more you do something, the more your body becomes accustomed to it, the more your body does not want to leave it behind. But if I had stayed there, there would be no infinite waters. I always remind myself of that. The story would have ended there. Okay, Ralph just works a nine to five for the rest of his life and that's it. Now... The story is so much more epic. Ralph is chilling with a cat down the road. Ralph is doing a little samba baby in the heart of nature. More richness has been added to my life because I was willing to meet the unknown. I was willing to progress 
to move into the door of uncertainty. You have to be able to do that to stop holding on to something when you need to let go. Realize it's going to be daunting, terrifying, but that will be the very thing that will set you free. Mm. What? Slow motion this side. Mm. I'm formless, just like the water. It's infinite waters. Our comfort zones can sometimes be our greatest prisons in disguise. Mm. What? Slow motion this side. Mm. Say it again, Ralph. Our comfort zones can sometimes be our greatest prisons in disguise. Our bedrooms can be our greatest prisons in disguise. Our usual trick our usual trip to the coffee shop can often be our greatest prison in disguise. Holding on to what we know can sometimes be our greatest prison in disguise because we think we know it all. We think we've seen it all. Little do we know that there is a whole nother, more marvelous world waiting for us. It was waiting for me but I had to find the courage to trust my intuition. I had to have the courage to trust the universe's plan for me. That's how to stop holding on to things when you need to let go. They've made plans for you. Society has made plans for you, but society has failed you. It's lied to you from the moment you were born. So because society has failed you, do not fail yourself by handing over your power to people, even friends and family, who do not really know what's best for you. I had to learn how to let go of all of that. The voices all around me telling me to do this, do that. I had to learn how to listen to myself. And you're going to have to find time every single day, no matter what you're doing, Make some time just to listen to yourself, meditate, plant your feet, because the more you listen to yourself, the more you will be guided from the universe to the place you need to be. Oh, baby. This persona a lot of us create can sometimes be our greatest prison in disguise. Are you ready to let that go? The reason why I have millions of subscribers, a YouTube Gold Award, is because I learned how to let go of that persona. I'm authentic. I'm real. I talk about topics a lot of people are thinking about, a lot of people are thinking about, but they're afraid to talk about them. I'm a voice. I'm a voice for the voiceless. And this is why I'm reaching so many amazing souls every single day because I had to learn how to lose my persona, which is the mask. And talking of mask, a lot of people are wearing face masks and they are also in a prison of their expression. And we have to learn how to let that go. We have to express ourselves instead of suppressing how we really feel. Stop holding on to what you think the world wants you to be because people change their mind just like leaves change their colors. Just like the weather changes from day to day how people treat you has got nothing to do with you. It's got everything to do with them. So I had to let that go. How people saw me when I realized the perception I have of myself when I look at myself in the mirror. Oh, I'm so beautiful. So is the cat down the road. <laughs> the perception I have of myself is greater than the perception 
other people have of me. That's how to stop holding on to things when you need to let go. Realize the more you lose that mask, you trying to be happy all the time on the gram, on TikTok, all of these things. But is that really you though? That's the question you have to ask yourself. It looks great, but is that really you though? Because a lot of people, they're holding on to something even though it doesn't feel good. You have young girls, young boys trying so hard just to be accepted on social media, but in the process, they are killing their soul because they don't feel happy doing it. When you learn how to let go and say, actually, I am good enough. I am needed. I am worthy. I am loved. You realize that you just being the way you are is good enough when you can accept yourself. Like deep divers, I've made videos when my hair's all over the place. I'm wearing a bin bag and it's okay because I accept it and therefore you do as well. You're like, Ralph, I love seeing you, right? I don't care what you're wearing, right? <laughs> to stop holding on to things when you need to let go, to let go and trust the universe, we have to let go of society's expectations. These expectations, even with COVID-19 and these rigid rules and regulations, even with these rigid regulations with COVID-19, you must do this, you must do that, you must wear a face mask, you must <laughs> be in groups of no more than six. All of these rigid rules and regulations are society's expectations. And this is what so many people hold on to, but in turn it becomes a prison in disguise. And we have to learn every single day to let that go. Because the more we hold onto it, the bigger the prison becomes. I want to tell you this. Every single year I look at myself and say, okay, Ralph is not the same as he was last year. And that's why I'm evolving. That's why it's infinite heights for me, baby. <laughs> because I realize I have no obligation to my former self. Mm. What? Slow motion this side. Mm. Next year, I'm going to be totally different because I'm always reinventing myself. I've covered so many different topics as a psychologist what people are going through with their subconscious mind, emotional trauma, all kinds of topics. Seven day vegan challenge, <laughs> eating to live. Shout out to everyone who's eating a delicious mango while watching this, okay? The Ralph Smart Diet. Versatile. I had to stop holding on. I had to stop putting myself in a box and realize there is no box and realize I have to move out of my own way. The only thing holding me back is me, my limited mind. And when I move that out of the way, I can become infinite. I don't have an obligation to my former self. I do not have an obligation to a culture, to a tradition, to a nationality, to a society. I am a free being. And when you say this every single day, you stop holding on to what they want you to be and you become who you really are. Many times we fail to realize we have a mini brain. It's called our gut. That's why people say I have a gut feeling about someone. It's your intuition. Your gut has over a hundred million nerve endings. It is a second brain. So 
Seven day vegan challenge as you are eating to live leafy greens, kale, arugula, Swiss chard. You are now improving your gut health. Therefore, you are now improving your intuition. It's all connected. You are what you eat. And what you eat influences everything when it comes to holding on or letting go. If you are constipated, yeah, you're holding on. You are eating leafy greens, oh, you're letting go. <laughs> I want to tell you this. I've got nothing to lose. You see, the reason why a lot of people hold on is because they think they've got everything to lose. When in actuality, they've got also nothing to lose. If you are at a job you hate, you got nothing to lose if you let it go. But Ralph, I've got to pay bills. You're paying bills right now, but you're spending all of that money on prescription pills because you always have a headache because you hate the life you're living. Not making sense. So when it comes to letting go and trusting the universe, the cost of not following your heart is far greater than the cost of following your heart. The cost of not following your heart is far greater than the cost of following your heart. If I didn't say, actually, I want to inspire a lot of people, if I said, actually, I just want to stay where I am in an arrested state of development, oh, that would have cost me a whole lot more than actually going for it. Taking a calculated risk to say, hey, what's the worst that could happen? At least I tried, at least I went for it. Who knows you might win the jackpot. I won the jackpot, baby. I won the jackpot. I finally realize a secret. When you realize the only way to fly is to let go of what's weighing you down, you start reaching so high, the people at the bottom can't make up what you are. Mm. What? Slow motion this side. Mm. They're like, is that infinite waters? I remember just meeting him at the bus stop and now look at him. He's traveling all around the world, inspiring millions of people. How come? Because Ralph Smart learned how to let go and trust the universe. That's why the universe works in my favor. I will only become wealthier. I will only become healthier. I will attract love every single second. Prosperity, abundance, good energy. You see, I'm saying this with confidence because I've already attracted it. Mm. What? Slow motion this side. Mm. Because I've let go of all of those things which were blocking my vision, holding me back, making me scared. I allowed myself to feel the fear and do it anyway. I allowed myself to trust the universe's plan for me. The great Arabic word maktub, which means it was written. That's what the ancients knew. It was written. All you have to do is play your position. Do what you feel is right in your heart and the universe will provide for you. The universe will take care of you. The universe will send the right people into your life that can help you evolve to the next level. And then just say, feel so good to be alive, baby. Can I get a hello? <laughs> Beautiful deep divers. I'm just woo, breathing in that good ass prana, baby. Oh, that's the whole weight of my shoulders. Deep divers, that's how to stop holding on. When you know you need to let go and trust the universe. I'm just woo, breathing in that good ass prana, baby. <laughs> Shout out to everybody who's been getting the wonderful good ass prana shirts. 
at ralphsmart.com slash clothes and spreadshirt.com. And if you are a sexy ass model, woo, with a whole lot of heart who wants to model the clothing, well, go and buy some. <laughs> Show me what you got, why you feel you have what it takes to model the clothing. Got a question for me, deep divers? Add me on the verified Instagram page at official Ralph Smart, at Infinite Waters, <laughs> and Facebook at Ralph Smart, at Infinite Waters. Check out the new book, Deep Divers, for more powerful information like this. Feel Alive by Ralph Smart on Amazon and at ralphsmart.com slash the book. Deep divers, trust the timing of your life. Just because it's not here yet, it doesn't mean that it won't be. Trust, 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 and let go. Have a beautiful day, deep divers. Peace. Infinite waters, diving deep once again. Stay well, stay healthy. Peace. You gotta let it go, baby. Come and join me in nature and be free and just woo, breathe in that good ass prana, baby. Have a beautiful day. Peace.